What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable FIFA 23 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com. Next time you guys want to buy your coins and make your team even better, go to the website and type the code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase. Also, if you ever want to sell your FIFA 23 coins, you can go to the same website under the Self Foot 23 coin section. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all yeah, boys. And we got a special player to review today. And it's going to be 93 rated Shapeshifters Mitrovic. Shout out to the homie Samoa for hooking us up with the account. Because if I'm not mistaken, this is an objective card. So we're looking at a card. It's 6'2", medium high worker. It's right foot, 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 89 pace, 82 passing, 84 dribbling, 92 defending. 95 physicality no defending traits in game now for the purpose of today's video we're gonna go ahead and give this card the shadow chemistry style because with the shadow chemistry style he gets on lengthy which is absolutely amazing acceleration goes up to 93 sprint speed goes up to 99 everything in the defending category gets maxed out except defense awareness that goes up to 95 strength is already maxed out aggression is already maxed out pretty much 85 stamina at this stage of the game. I don't don't think that's gonna be a con, but we'll have to keep a lookout for that. Everything in the dribbling category is 80 plus. That's already a big W for a CV. So Mitrovic is going to be playing with this team right here, and he's gonna be playing in a 4-3-2-1 as a right center back, right next to team of the season moments Rafael Varane. Now we want to see potentially if this Mitrovic is a top 10 CV in the game because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, he's looking absolutely insane with those stats. But at the same time, whenever EA drop a free card, I don't usually trust EA. They usually make the card not super OP compared to somebody on the market like Van Dyke, Varane, etc. But we got to keep an open mind. We're going to play some games in the Vision Rivals. Hopefully, he clamps it up in the back. All right, guys. So we finally hooked onto a game. We're going as FC-based squad. Let's see what type of squad he rocking with. Pretty decent team. Pretty decent team. Nice interception from Mitrovic. Nice track spike that OBY perfectly fine. Great tackle. Let's go. Takes the ball easily from RVP. Good tackle right there. What a tackle. Last second from Mitrovic. That was clutch. That was clutch. Nice. Great tackle. Nice and clean. Leads the goal. Defense leading to the goal. Yeah, boys. Things you love to see. That's a rage quit. We move on to the next game. Nice tackle. Nice. Bodies Vitinha easily. That was clutch. Good tackle from the card. Nice. Decent turn as well. We do take that. Nice. That was clutch, man. That shot got deflected because of that tackle by Mitrovic. Nice interception. Nice job on intercepting that wide ball. Nice tackle versus Hallen. Nice bodies and Mbappe easily. Let's see, oh, Mitch Richardson and Mbappe. All right, he kind of messed up with that touch right there, but we do take that interception. Nice job by Mitrovic getting in the way right there to make it uncomfortable versus Mbappe. Great tackle from the card. Nice tackle. 
Good job by Mitrovic getting in the way. Good interception from the card. Nice job. Nice. Alright guys, and that concludes the player review for 93 rated shapeshifters and Mitchell Ridge. Coming around, he's a free card basically. Oh, not basically, but he is a free card. He's in objectives. I think it's really easy to get him, but comparing this 93 rated shapeshifters to the 86 World Cup stories, I believe that is, you get a plus 7 on the pace, a plus 3 on the dribbling, plus 59 on the defending, plus 2 on the physicality, minus 22 on the shooting, and then plus 17 on the passing. Obviously, that one being a striker card. This one being a center back version. Now, my experience with this Mitrovic was, was actually pretty solid. He was better than I expected considering the fact he's a free card. And you guys, like I said earlier in the video, usually if it's an objective card, I don't usually trust it because it has objective tax, meaning it's not going to be as good as the cards in the market. But to my surprise, this card does the job very, very well at this stage of the game. So my pros with this card is pretty much everything. Number one, the work rate, medium high work rates. Number two, the height, 6'2". You guys know me, I love my CB, 6'2 and taller. Pro number three, he has four star weak foot, which means he can pass out the back with either foot with that 95 short pass. Next pro, the physicality on this card, oof. He's a big body in the back, y'all boys. You guys saw we were going against Mbappe, Erlen Haaland. It didn't matter. This Mitrovic was winning the tackle 10 times out of 10 with that 99 strength and 98 aggression. Defensive positioning also was a very, very nice with the 91 of that defensive awareness. Goes up to 95 with the shadow chemistry style. His interceptions were also very, very well. I like that a lot from the card. Now. One thing about the card that I will say feels a little bit of a liability or at least not top tier to the other center backs is the dribbling, specifically the jockeying, right? He feels a little bit heavy whenever you're trying to jockey or dribble out the back with the card. I mean, it makes sense. He has 80 dribbling and his body type is very, very heavy. You know, he has a very stocky body type in game, so it makes sense. But other than that, this card is really, really good. And if you guys want to grind towards him and put him in your starter team, go ahead. I don't think you guys will regret it. Obviously, if you don't have like a Ruben Diaz, a Saliba, a Kempembe, a Varane, obviously go ahead and get this Mitrovic. If not, I would just use those guys. I don't think this Mitrovic is a top 10 CB in the game. I think he's a really, really good CB that's free. You can grind towards him. It's not that complicated, if I'm not mistaken. He gets the job done, man. And he's probably going to get the job done until at least the month of August. So there you guys have my verdict on Mitrovic. He gets a thumbs up for me. And rating-wise for his card, he's going to get a 9 out of 10. Yes, sir. I thought he was very, very good. Just obviously not top tier. But thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about Shapeshifters Mitrovic? Do you guys think he's really, really good or not? My next player review will be Memphis the Pie Shapeshifters. Cannot wait to drop that for y'all boys and see if the cards are very, very good. It's been your boy Dan FIFA, and I'm out. Bye bye.